Okay, let's uh, continue on with the list page of the item management uh, chapter. And uh, what we'll do here is when the user clicks on this list news item uh, menu item, this is the global static global menu. The user clicks on list news items, they're going to get this listing of what's in the database, the news items that are in the database. So that should be the outcome of um, this activity. So we'll start with uh, modifying the deployment descriptor. We need to add a new servlet that uh, lists the news items. So we're going to call that list news items. That's the name of the servlet. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Here's our web XML file. Paste that. And uh, just put a space in there. Not i just close that out. And um, now we need to create the, uh, the servlet. It's called uh, List News Item Servlet. Let's go ahead and create that. It's under the SRC folder, publisher.web. Let's create a new class. It's a list news item servlet. It's of type HTTP servlet. Control spacebar, Java X servlet HTTP. Double click on that. Now let's see what the chapter has. It gives us the, the complete code here. Just paste it in there. Once again, you're going to need to, um, to read the explanation of this code. And, uh, but the best thing to do is actually to read the code itself and uh, tinker with it. Um, try to understand what's uh, going on in there. And that uh, looks good. Here we're going to need to create this JSP file. I would guess that that's next, but not sure. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I think we'll need to create that, so... Remember the servlet is called a controller. The request from the browser comes into the servlet and then uh, it does some processing, which is done down in here. And then the last thing we do is we forward to the JSP, which generates the HTML that comprises the, uh, the web page that the browser renders to the user. And uh, I think I'll just follow the section. Well, there it is. We need to create newsitems.jsp. Go into web. GSP new file. It's a news items .gsp. This is what the uh, it's pretty much given right there. Just paste it in, and uh, everything is there pretty much. Ready to test. So we made a change to the web XML file. So what I'm going to do there is, um, is stop and start the publisher application. Stop and uh, start on the publisher. There it is. Says OK. And at this point, this list news item should work. And in fact, there it is. This is our context. Um, our context. Uh, <laughs> menu. So if we're viewing a list of news items, we can create a new news item by clicking on this. So we would go to the servlet to create a news item, but that is not there. This is to view an individual news item. As you can see, we go to a servlet called view news item. We pass in a parameter, which is the ID of the news item. Uh, we need to implement both of those uh, functions. And uh, we actually don't have a home button there, do we? So that's something that we could have added to the global global menu. This is uh, this is the home. Maybe that's something that should be added to that that uh, global le menu. In fact, let's let's go ahead and do that. That's um, that would be done in uh, I believe in this uh, top. Let's just take a look at that. Here's the uh, news items. Here's the where this is done. This is list news items. Let's replace that first one with the link back to to home. 
So we'll just call that home. We don't need to start and stop uh, Tomcat to see a change in the JSP. So if I go to list news items, you'll see that the new JSP is now being served. We can return to the home like that. So, whoops, wrong one. We can go to list news items and to home. There we go. It's working nicely. Yeah, that's the end of uh, of this chapter or this section within the chapter on list page.